Another beautiful day out digging. As you can see, we had a little bit of rain, and uh, someone apparently decided to drive their tractor <laughs> through all this mess. So we get to slosh through this. It's going to be a fun day. Chris has been out here uh, for, I guess, a little bit. Yeah, about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes or so, and he's already found two bullets. Take a look at that really quick. Okay. All of these so far that I've seen, pretty much. Were those all, three ringers? Yeah, just, uh, what is that, a 54 caliber? All right. It looks like they've got some holes in top. What's up there? They've all been kind of wormed out of the rifles. That's kind of what we're hoping for out here is that we're coming on to a camp. And there's a lot of iron. I don't know if you want to show over there. There's um, raised uh, ridge in the background that runs as far as the eye can see. And that was actually, was it the MNO Railroad? Yeah. I think. Uh, so we're hoping there's a Civil War camp that was right here. I know there was an old house site. So. All right, so we got an old house site, railroad, ruts, and bullets. And All right, there's your wrap up. <laughs> we're done for the day. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll get back to you as soon as we find something. I'm going to have to do some detecting at some point. Really nice signal there. So, got this awesome signal right here, <laughs> and uh, I didn't even have to dig for it. <clears throat> it's just a little part right here was sticking out of the ground, and I just pulled it out of the ground. <laughs> Somebody lose their horse? <laughs> All right, so I've been out here for a good. 15 minutes now and I got some trash pulled out a look like a railroad spike here obviously there was the railroad right there so all right gonna keep looking maybe I'll find a horse so I haven't been getting a lot digging by myself so I figured I'd invite you to this one you can watch me dig up some trash There's a lot of iron out here. Oh. <laughs> and if possible, more trash than iron. But maybe because you're here, we'll dig something good, right? Are you hoping? I sure hope so. I hope you're hoping. <laughs> What a mess. All right, let's see if we can find it. Well, it looks like it's out. Still says 19. not in my hand it's in my hand again all right what do we got oh man hey it looks like a coin maybe it's a coin it is a coin hey we're gonna step away from this pinpointer here 
Hang on a second. Let me shut this noise off. All right, be honest. How many of you uh, turned your TV down while that pinpointer was going off? Might do it too. I'm going to take my glove off. This is just a mess. All right, let's clean it off together. Well, it came up a 19, so it's probably a wheat penny. Maybe it's Indian head. That would be so cool. Are you hoping for Indian head? You were hoping for, that it'd be something. So maybe hope if it's an Indian head. That'd be nice. Hey guys, check it out. Thanks for hoping. <laughs> Look at it. I gotta get this thing cleaned off. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm going to send this to Chris. He's going to... Where's he at? Hey, Chris, look. Oh, he can't He can't hear me. He can't even see it. Y'all got to check out his channel, m and Diggers. He's got this video where he can't find an Indian head. But it's right here. Hello, Chris. Boop. Boop. All right, I'm going to stop. Let me clean this off. We find out what the date is. Hang on. There it is, folks. 1904. Let me show you a cleaned up picture of this, and then we're gonna check in and see how Chris is doing. But the first good, awesome target that I've gotten locked on is this beautiful rains guide. This is amazing, look at that. I've never dug a rains guide with so much beautiful green coming out of it, and the silver patina still left on there. It's just really incredible all right got another good one here sounds kind of like a big target though yeah let's dig it up Yeah, you see that? It's like iron to me. The funny thing is, now that I just bent it back, it looks like a pocket knife. If it is a pocket knife, you'll see this part of the video. On to the next. Another good signal right here really close to the road so it could be a can <laughs> it doesn't sound that deep either Guess we missed it. That's it right there. Not sure what it is, gonna have to clean it up. Is that what I think it is? I didn't have to dig for that. What is that? Right. Let me go in the right direction here. Right. There. Do you see that? Just sticking out of the ground right there? Is that a coin? Is that a coin just sticking out of the ground? <laughs> oh, 
You ever listen to yourself laugh before when you get a cold? You sound like a witch. Man. I'm all zoomed in. Can you even see it? Look at this. That was a coin just sticking out of the ground. Yo, that's not just any coin. That's an Indian head penny. Wow. That is insane. What's that date on there? I can't believe this. I honestly can't believe it. That was too funny. Just sticking straight out of the ground. An Indian head penny. <sighs> All right, I'm going to keep hunting this area a little bit longer, and uh, we'll see what co what we come up with next. So I just found that Indian head sticking out of the ground right there, and I was walking down this little water line and uh, pulled this plug out right here. It was, a, it was a not really that great of a signal. It was really jumpy, but... It was the only good signal other than iron that I got because this thing is just completely covered in iron. So, anyway, I'll let you all come to find out what's in this. See if it's another junk, a uh, piece of junk or something. Please be what I think it is. You see it right there? Yep, there it goes. Look. Civil War bullet right there. Three ringer. Awesome. Now we're on to something. Let's see if this one is uh, warmed like Chris's was. Yep. Fantastic. Let's get a clean up picture in here and then we're going to check in and see if Chris has found anything else. Just getting back in this field. This was another terrible signal, but the 18 Max is an awesome machine. It just pulled it at about eight inches. And it is another bullet from the American Civil War. It's in rough shape but it's another great find so finding more and we'll let you know got a real nice uh signal right there jumping between a uh, penny and a dime it pinpoints really small and no iron grunt when the iron audio is on. Right there. All right, one second. Let me cut it and we'll come back. All right, it's cut. Here we go. No, maybe not. <laughs> All right, I got it flipped up finally. Looks like it's still in the hole. Really good signal though. I don't like that feel. <laughs> it's real hard down there. Makes you think it's just iron. Nope. There we go, it's out. It's round. Oh, what is that? What is that? I don't want to touch it. <laughs> All right, what is it? <clears throat> All right, let me get cleaned off. I got it cleaned up some. Honestly, I'm not sure what it is. So I'm going to get an ID and I'll let you know. got a real weak signal really deep at least it sounds really deep 
right, let me cut it. All right, so I got it cut, and it's open. It's still in the hole, obviously. And I was hoping it's not iron. It's just starting to drop into those low numbers. All right, let me get down in the dirt. All right, it's out of the hole. There we go. What do we got? Looks brass something. All right, let me clean it off a little bit. Well, I'm stumped. Uh, again, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. So, get it identified and I'll let you know. Well, it's wet and nasty out here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to call it. If you liked the video, please subscribe and check out some of our other videos.